Look at that burst coming our way. That looks like the beginning of a water spout. A massive one. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Change course. Because the weather's too crappy on that side. But look at that. Yeah, and I I looked down at the oh the lighting tracker. The lighting tracker says that thing is is going to maybe beat us at this at this space. So I think I think we're going to run. So I'm going to start this. Yeah, the water is out. We were at 5.1. So look at that one, 20 minutes to 8. That's where we normally can see. I think the wind shifted a little bit, so we're going to bring out the, the Noah as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Eh? In 5 minutes, we're going to turn into the wind. We're already 20, 25. Yeah, bring it out. Eighteen. If you look at this, eighteen thirty. Oh, comes oh, into oh, oh. Bring it in tight, 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 tight. More. How much should we want? Five minutes. Six minutes. Uh, as a, well, from seven minutes. Starting the engine and to now. No, 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 no. From you not raising. Forty-eight. So the Genoa added some seven minutes or deducted seven minutes from our run. We need to run. So that thing is going to catch us. We're not afraid of the rain, we're afraid of the lightning. So we have these clouds. We are running now from these ones. But there is also, there is also... <laughs> oh. Doesn't look good. started to rain again oh man we cannot get away from all these storms but the lightning is less and oh Pietro disappeared <laughs> <laughs> she's busy cooking up a storm talking about storms so what, this is what's a, this? a weird combination it's butter chicken with with pasta with pasta yeah Quite a bit. Hmm. Now I thought we need to spice up our day. So taking up the storm between the storms. <laughs> we need to spice it up. And we are jumping quite a lot. Yeah. I've adjusted our angle so we don't do too much hobby horsing. But at one point we have to go <laughs> into the waves. Because it's going to get 1.5 meters in half an hour. We go through very shallow seas. So we have a lot of mosquitoes, but Peter is busy hacking her tomato plant. Look at all these tomatoes, it just makes it so heavy. The poor <laughs> plant can't carry all this, so I just need to lighten up the load a little bit. I must cut off tomatoes. Yeah, I will do that. And look at these huge chilies here. There they are a lot. And the basil also growing quite nicely. Yeah, well, the basil is just, I trimmed it yesterday. <laughs> that one is just on steroids. Well, there was not much wind predicted for today, but when we woke up, we had our cup of coffee and <laughs> watch this. A bit bouncy for a no wind situation. 
and we have sails up and we even reefed for a no wind situation <laughs> it's crazy but we will take it we haven't sailed for a long time so this is good a little bit bouncy like I said for supposedly no wind look even now in <laughs> oh man yeah but we are sailing we can actually get much closer to the wind but because of these these big ones I will maybe later shift a little bit closer but they hit us straight on and I coming from a different direction than the wind so I, I think somewhere there is another storm or a system or something that pushing these waves in here or maybe they bend yeah the exumas maybe I don't know but yeah we need to go that direction so it's a little bit off and that was ship shipment or ship something ship key ship lane key or ship yeah something ship key and highborn keys over there Thank you. so Helen keys is there but the one that's, that's having the iguanas is called cabbage key so not leaf key cabbage key highborn key and then quite further down close to Lee Stocking Island is leaf key the real leaf key so not doing too bad uh, you can see we have a huge current taking us that way uh, because my speed lock is working again and the wind is also pushing us so it might be leeway even but I think it's getting low tide so all this water is coming from here it's rushing through here so but that's cool so Ah, oh, there we go. Ship channel key. Ship channel key. And this, you can see, it says the leaf key or cabbage key. It's actually cabbage key because the other leaf key is south. So let me show you. So that is highborn key. Let me go down, 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 down. Okay. Huh. We've been here quite a, quite a lot of times. That's ten, that was Daniel Key. Yeah, it's quite far. Ah, here we go. So this is Lee Stocking Island over there. That's Lee Stocking. And then just above... Oh, man. This place here is Leaf Key, which is also the a wildlife reserve. And all the iguanas is on that little beach over there. We anchored a couple of times here. We anchored even over there. Pretty, pretty nice place. And that's the difference between cabbage key and leaf key. Because there was just too, too many. I think too much mosquitoes. You cannot count them. It's countless mosquitoes. So we just dropped the sails. And over there is highborn key. So we have a nice secret spot right here. Don't tell anyone. Right here, where it's pretty shallow, but um, it's very calm. It's right around the corner, but we have to go like this and this, because also a lot of rocks. Ooh, it started to rain, so you might see raindrops. But yes, a little very nice beach. Very calm, very shallow as well, but it is shallow enough for us, or deep enough for us. How do you want to sit in over there? That's highborn key over there. So you come in, go through the gauntlet, and then very close to this point, you come in, and then you turn, you make a starboard turn, and then you're here. And we've seen stingrays here before, or rays, not necessarily stingrays, but huge rays and turtles so this is nice and it is very calm here um, 
those islands there they break most of the of the waves is coming in and then this point also make sure it doesn't come in too much to us you can see there's a little bit but it's not enough to get us give us the shake problems again fishing line according to the captain is about a kilometer length of fishing line stuck yet somewhere at the bottom obviously the prop Jesse can hold his breath for very long. How long can you hold your breath? Go, oh, there's a bit other side. Some of it. Happiness. <laughs> nice and thick lines. Oh, there's a spear rock. Wonder where that came out. Okay. So that's the first lot. Doing the breathing exercise. A deep one, fast in and slow out three times. If I'm lost along the way If I wander off onto a different trail Will you forgive me if I fail When I'm lost and erased If I cry when I'm blue If I cry alone when I am with you Will you forgive me if I do If I cry when I'm blue here in Long Island that's highborn key over there there's a big stingray that's always like swirling around the boat there's a small one as well and each one of them had has a fish protecting them so if we throw out some some old food or leftovers you can see he's coming and when other fish is coming that little fish is always with him will chase those other fish away <laughs> so it's like Really cute to see that. And over here we have got this like an awesome beautiful beach. But if we look a little bit further, normally we show you the nice places. But today <laughs> it's washing day. We even have the pressure washer out. So we are busy cleaning Sisu. And yeah, that is biodegradable soap over there, power washer, and you have to do this by hand. So that's what I'm doing, what is Peter doing? So inside he is also uh, a big mess. 
which also never appears on the <laughs> on our videos. So where is Peter? Ah, you see? <laughs> on her hands and knees washing the toilets. <laughs> <laughs> and we picked the hottest day ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's literally you have to clean everything by hand. Yep. It's not that's the only time you're gonna find me on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. so it is it is the the other part of sailing life that you don't always see is that we have all sorts of stuff going on. Like it is just chaotic. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is what boat life is actually about. Wash a little bit and then rinse a little bit, otherwise the soap is getting hard and it doesn't count anymore. Still on our route to Grenada, approaching Staniel Key and a couple of months Three months ago, or two months ago, three months ago, this was completely full of sailboats. And look, it's mostly super yachts lying over here now. It's dead quiet. You can see it's the end of the season, so there's only the big boys still hanging around here. But it is dead quiet. There is the Pigs Beach, and all that whole section there was just full of sailboats. And now you just see monstrosities. This is weird. And there is Daniel Key Marina and Yacht Club. Quiet, quiet, quiet. There's not there's only one boat at the grotto, the Thunderbolt Grotto. And there used to be a lot of boats out here. We are just leaving Staniel Key because there's always a very nice club and nice atmosphere. Uh, it was a little bit windy so we came to anchor around there. Now we are on our way to Leaf Key, the real Leaf Key. And it's quite a way. It's quite far so we will stay on the inside and then go through this is here at, at High Key, Big Galliot Key, I think this is Galliot Cat. <coughs> um, but yeah, so we will go through there and then come back in here. This is Lee Stocking Island and here is the real Leaf Key, if you can remember from before when we were at Cabbage Key. So this is Leaf Key. And there is no wind. <coughs> we had a serious lot of rain. You can see here. It was raining and raining and raining the whole night. And it's still gloomy. No sails, no wind. But it's gloomy all around. <coughs> You can almost understand why this time of the year there is no sailboat. 